Well, as you can see, I'd rather be mowing. But today, we're not gonna be mowing. Today, we're gonna be talking about fungus and mushrooms, the good, the bad, and the ugly. For the last, I don't know, week and a half, it has had a flooding thunderstorm here every single evening. The summer showers have begun. And because of that, I haven't been able to, one, mow, that's why the yard is looking so bad right now. And two, we're starting to get some mushrooms pop up every morning. Now don't get me wrong, mushrooms are a sign of good health in your yard. They really are. But there's also too much of a good thing. So, today we're gonna take a look at what's going on in my yard. Maybe we can identify some problems in your yard and get a fix and a prevention for those funguses and keep your lawn from looking like mine is. So, let's turn the camera around and take a look. When I get up and I come out here, there are mushrooms everywhere. In the morning, they're white, but in the evening or daytime when the sun comes out, the UV rays start hitting it and they start turning brown. But I'll show you a couple of them right now. Here we go right here. Now in the morning time, these come up and they're real nice and white. Now, like I said, mushrooms are a good sign that you have a good formation of organic material and stuff is decomposing and there's living organisms and stuff like that. That's good. All right, but there's there's three there. There's two growing here. There's one there. There's some here. The sun's starting to dry these up. You can see them. Like I said, there's always such thing as too much of a good thing. So let's take a look at some brown spot and some dollar spot that I have in the yard. Here is some dollar spot. Let's see, get it close right here. You can see healthy grass. And then you get into this area, and there's my finger for a size comparison. You get into some dollar spots, and it's the size of a silver dollar. There's one. Here's one. Uh, we move over. There's some right there. Over a little bit further. And there's some right there. Here's a spot here. There's a spot there. And see, we've got spots here, like that. That is either a brown patch or that could also be from some of the uh, the grubs that we were killing off. I don't know if you can see this on camera, but there are some spots here. I don't know if it's showing up through here, but there's some spotty areas right here that I believe is brown spot. Up through here, or dollar spot. I know that's some dollar spot over here. You can see it right there more dollar spot if you look you can kind of see some dark area right through here I'm gonna get in close so you can really see this stuff it is some type of fungus or mold or algae growing on the dirt there and you can see you can actually see the fungus so and it it's right there comes all down through here there's some bad spots right there. You can really see it. You can actually see the fuzz and stuff growing down in there. So we've got spots like this where there's these small low growing mushrooms or spores, whatever you want to call them, that are just growing down that ground level. Actually see there's an area right out here where it looks like there's some brown patch starting right there. Now, you're probably wondering, what could be causing all this? Why do I have fungus in my yard? Why do I have brown spot, dollar spot? Why is there mushrooms? Well, one thing that can cause it is over fertilization. Too much fertilizer can cause, especially with too much urea, can cause a reaction with a, a lot of moisture and a lot of heat. That, that's a perfect recipe to grow fungi or fungus. Another thing is cutting grass too short. Cutting grass too short can cause grass to be weak and more susceptible to diseases because cutting short means cutting frequent and leaves your grass blade open to disease because of it bleeding once it's been cut. 
it being too long creates the same situation we we're talking about before. It gets long, it creates a mat, it gets hot down in there, the sun hits it, it's a shaded area at the bottom, the sun is not getting directly to the soil, the UV rays cannot kill the bacteria and the fungus, therefore it breeds more fungus and more spores. So, the reason I have it, well, I was cutting it kind of short, but I'm almost 100% positive the reason that I have it is because we got 700 inches of rain in a matter of a week and a half. Maybe not that many inches, but we still got a lot of rain every single day, and a lot of the days were overcast, so the rain from the day before wasn't able to dry up. So now, what do we do about it? All right, so this is what we're gonna be putting out today. This is a, a fungus control for lawns by BioAdvanced. It says it cures and prevents common lawn diseases. It'll work on yards and lawn. It says up here at the top of the bag, treats up to 5,000 square feet. Now, today, what we've noticed is exactly what this is, is made for. Common lawn diseases. We got mushrooms, dollar spot, brown patch. That's what we see, that's what we got. I'm sure it treats more stuff. Uh, I'm not a super, super technical guy, but I do know that the active ingredient in, these, in this uh, fungicide is propiconazole. I think that's how it's pronounced. I could be wrong, you know what I'm saying. And today, we're gonna be putting this out with my Stay Green spreader. We're gonna put out one and a half bags on this area here. This is 7,500 square feet. So it's gonna take about a bag and a half for this area here. What I like to do is put my spreader on a low setting. I know about how much my spreader will put out and how many passes I gotta make. So I'll put my spreader on a low setting and I'll go north and south and east and west, make sure we get good coverage on here. And uh, let's get this loaded in the spreader and start putting it out. So the bag says that there's a lot of traffic coming. So the bag says that for preventative fungus control, to put it out at a rate of uh, two and a half pounds per thousand square feet. And to cure any fungus problems that you might have, put it out at three and a half pounds per thousand square feet. Uh, I put it out at the rate of three and a half pounds per thousand square feet because I already have fungus. So, uh, also, it says do not get on the grass, let kids on the grass or pets on the grass until it has been watered in and dried. Once that has happened, kids and pets are free to be in the yard. In my situation, because I know that my fungus is because I've been getting an, an extremely large amount of rain and the ground has been extremely moist, it's moist. moist then I'm not gonna water this in immediately because I'm gonna take advantage of the sun and the UV rays while I have a chance. I've been getting enough moisture. I'm sure that this evening or tomorrow that there's gonna be another storm come through and I'll let that water it in. So right now I'm gonna take advantage of this pure sunlight, UV rays to help with my fungus problems. And then whenever the next rain comes, it's gonna self-treat itself. So. For right now, kids and pets are just gonna stay out of my grass. Don't forget to hit that like button. Uh, most importantly, subscribe. It's in this corner. Hit that subscribe button because uh, there's a lot of people watching my videos and they're not subscribed. So do me a favor, click that subscribe button. You'll get notifications every time I put out a video as long as you hit that bell. You gotta click subscribe and hit the bell. 
and you'll get notifications every time I put out a video. So hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe. Comment down below. We'll see you on the next video. Thank you.